Hi, guy. How have you been? Hi, Hana. I'm doing great. Thank you. How about you? I'm good, but I feel stuck with my English. I really want to get better at it, but I'm always busy. I don't have time to go to classes, and I don't know anyone else here who speaks English. I understand. Learning on your own can be challenging, especially with a busy schedule. But you know, with a few techniques and regular practice, it's possible to make great progress even without a teacher. Really? That sounds encouraging. But where should I even start? Let's start with some simple strategies that you can fit into your day. Learning doesn't have to take hours. Sometimes just a few minutes each day can make a difference. And if you're interested, I can give you some specific tips for practicing English on your own. Yes, please. I'd love that guy. I know you've learned languages too. Your tips would be so helpful. Absolutely. I'll share what I know, and remember, it's all about being patient and making learning a part of your routine. Okay, Hana, let's start with something easy that you can do daily. Do you like watching TV shows or listening to music in English? Yes, I love listening to English songs. I sometimes watch English shows, but I get lost if they speak too quickly. That's totally normal. Try watching with subtitles first, and don't worry if you don't understand every word. Just focus on understanding the general idea and listen for familiar words. That makes sense. Should I just keep repeating this until it feels natural? Exact. Start by watching a scene. Or listening to a song you like, then pause and repeat the lines. Even if it feels slow at first, this will really help improve your listening and understanding. After a while, you'll notice you're picking up phrases more easily. I hadn't thought of that. I always felt I had to understand everything the first time. This is much better. Yes, take it step by step. Another idea is to look for content made for English learners. There are channels and podcasts made specifically for beginners with slower speech and simpler language. I'll look for those. Thanks, guy. Guy, I always forget new English words. Do you have any tips to help me remember them? Sure. Flashcards are a great way to practice vocabulary. You can write the English word on one side and the translation or a picture on the other. You can even use apps like Anki or Quizlet to make digital flashcards. Oh, I think I've heard of Quizlet. It sounds helpful. But should I focus on memorizing words individually or in sentences? Good question. It's actually best to learn words in context. For example, if you learn the word apple, also learn a sentence with it, like "I eat an apple every day." This way, you remember how to use the word naturally. That's a great tip. And should I try to use these words right away? Absolutely. Try making sentences with the new words you learn. Write them down, or even say them aloud. When you practice using new words, it helps them stick in your memory better. I'll try that. Maybe I can keep a notebook to write down new words and sentences. Great idea. Reviewing your notes every day, even just for five minutes, will help a lot. 
And don't worry about memorizing everything perfectly. Just make it a habit to review and use new words. I feel like my speaking is weak. How can I practice if I'm alone? That's a common challenge. Here's something called shadowing. Basically, you listen to English audio and repeat what you hear, almost like you're an echo. Try to match the speaker's tone, speed, and even emotion. So, I just listen and copy? Should I focus on one sentence at a time? Yes. Start with short, simple dialogues or phrases. Repeat each sentence a few times until it feels smooth and don't rush. Over time, this will help with your pronunciation and confidence. It sounds fun. I can try it with some beginner English podcasts or YouTube videos. Perfect. Another idea is to record yourself speaking English. For example, Describe what you did that day. Then, listen to it and see if there are any words that sound unclear or need improvement. Oh, recording myself. That's smart. Even if it feels a bit strange, it's like having a mirror for my voice. Yes, exactly. And it's a great way to track your progress. Over time, you'll hear your improvement which can be really motivating. Another great way to practice is by writing. Have you thought about keeping a diary in English? I haven't, but it sounds useful. What should I write about? I'm not sure what topics to start with. You can start with something simple, like your day. Write a few sentences every night, like Today, I went to work. It was a busy day, but I learned a lot. Don't worry about making mistakes. Just try to express yourself. I think I can do that. And if I get stuck, I can ask you to check my sentences, right? Of course, I'd be happy to help. And if you find new words or phrases that you don't understand, Write those down, too, and practice them later. Should I also try to read something in English every day? Yes, reading is also important. Find short, simple texts like beginner articles, stories, or news. Just a few minutes a day is enough, but it helps a lot with vocabulary and understanding sentence structure. I'll do that. It sounds simple but useful. Thank you, Guy. Guy, I'm worried I might get lazy or lose motivation after a while. What can I do to stay on track? That's natural. The key is to stay consistent, even if you're busy. Try setting small goals, like learning five new words a day, or practicing English for 10 minutes each morning. This way, it doesn't feel overwhelming. Small goals sound more manageable, and if I set a reminder, I won't forget. Exactly, and remember to reward yourself. Set a reward for each milestone you reach, like buying a small treat or doing something you enjoy. It's a way to celebrate your progress. That's a great idea. I think I'll try rewarding myself. Also, don't focus too much on perfection. It's okay to make mistakes. The important thing is to keep going and enjoy the process. Thank you, Guy. That's very encouraging. I'll remind myself to be patient. Guy, thank you so much for all the advice. I feel a lot more confident now. I'll do my best to follow your tips. You're welcome, Hana. I believe in you. Just keep practicing a little every day, 
and soon you'll see real improvement. Remember, it's a journey. Enjoy each step and don't worry about speed. I will. Thank you for being so supportive. It means a lot to me. Anytime, Hana. Just remember, if you ever need more advice, I'm here. You're already doing a great job by being eager to learn. You've got this. Thank you, Guy. I'll keep working hard and stay committed. That's the spirit, Hana. Keep it up, and you'll be speaking English fluently in no time. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this conversation practice and found it helpful, please give us a thumbs up, share with friends, and subscribe to our channel for more English practice. Don't forget to hit the bell so you never miss a lesson. Thanks again and see you in the next video.